Okay. All right. Looks good to me. All right. Looking good to me. Welcome. Welcome to everyone. Erin Gobralis. Uh, whatever else they say, Faith and Bigora, sure. Sodom and Gomorrah, Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, um, <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day Week 2017, and um, this happens to be what I had in the refrigerator that I put in the freezer. I am enjoying some uh, very nice Yinling Porter, which is like similar to Guinness Stout, except that I believe they use cocoa, chocolate in the fermentation. The oldest brewery in America, Yinling, Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Got it? You see it? Got it. Yinling Porter. I put it in the freezer so it's partially frozen the way I like it. All right. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's ice cold. Yes, yes, it is frosty cold. You know, beer done partially frozen would probably sell like hotcakes in the warm weather. You know, like uh, if somebody, instead of selling Italian ice or lemonade, he's ice partially frozen. No, you couldn't say that. Icy beer, icy beer, or a frosty beer. There you go. Frosty beer. Uh, Come and get beer. your frosty beer. Get it here now. <laughs> Okay, everything we discuss politically is part of our series. Crapitalism in a conch shell. There's the conch, all right? Soak in that conch energy from the briny deep. Seven lucky bells for progressive discussions. I got the Blackthorn Shillelagh, the weapons grade, uh, the good luck charm Shillelagh from Ireland. All right. From XavierGifts.com. Thank you, Patty. From XavierGifts.com. There's a shamrock on there. For the very, very best in Irish imports. XavierGifts.com. Um, you should have seen how uh, how hopping the supermarkets were, considering the fact that we're going to get four more inches of snow. We're not. What are we going to get? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing, and they're all freaking out over nothing. It's going to go. It's going to go south and east over the rock, over the water. Over the water. Oh, thank God! It was I, I. I. I broke my back shoveling my car out yeah. when the temperature went up into the 40s, and, um, and thankfully for that, otherwise I wouldn't be able to do the uh, St. Patrick's Day 2017 show. I wouldn't be able to show up here because we we had a nor'easter, of course. See what happened to me out there? What happened? I have a guy come in, he shovels me, right? Right. He finishes his job, he goes. The guy comes with the plow, and the uh, junk from the street goes up on my sidewalk and it freezes. So he 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 plows, he does what the Department of Public Works uh, individuals, people that usually plow snow. Uh, or, or people that do it, like landscapers that do it. What they do is they go up the middle of the road and they push all the snow up against the cars on the street. So therefore, you got to kill yourself to dig your car out. Yeah. Then, when people leave their homes, <coughs> usually in the morning, I happen to be nocturnal. I hate, I hate mornings. They're for the birds. Uh, <laughs> That was the mountain lion. Um, that was the black and white cat, Steve. He just jumped off his perch. Anyway, they, they bury you, so you break your back, digging your car out, and then when the cars leave, the, 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 the plow trucks come back again, and you think they plow the sides to, to create, to, to regain the parking spaces that were once there. Oh, no. They just cruise up and down the middle, Nothing gets plowed on the side, and guess what? When people come home, they have to save their parking spaces with objects because, let's face it, if you, if you kill yourself digging your car out and the town is not helping you, uh, where the hell are you supposed to put your car when you get back home? 
<laughs> and you don't want anybody stealing your spot after you killed yourself digging it out. And you know, by rights, if all the cars are gone on one side of the street, the plow truck is supposed to plow the side. To the curb. It's called common sense. Well, to, at least to the intersection, to the to the corner. Well, I mean your curb. Right. The park. The intersection of my curb. Right. No, 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 no. What do you mean? In my other curb? words, come to the curb <laughs> instead well, of the middle of the road. Right. Right. In and other words, no you, you turn. There. Pretend this is a plow blade. <laughs> you turn it sideways, and then you drive it over to the side, and then you plow. The mountains of snow that are by the curb. Yeah. And now, you guess what? Oh, uh, duh. You, I have to talk Florida talk. Florida. You have your parking spaces back again. Good gobbledy goo. Yeah. Oh, my God. Anyway, um, the news. What can I say? Uh, uh, the sleazy, demonic Paul Ryan wants to um, take away your health care, take away. Uh, your uh, um, social steal your social security meals take away your Medicare take meals on wheels oh yeah they want to defund meals on wheels not that meals on wheels is the best food in the world no you know what Beelzebub just reach behind does work through cats they are witches familiars guess what He's the scared. motherfucker wants to go outside he's scared he wants to go out you're scared oh you poor fucking thing it's freezing out yeah. I just opened the door real quick. Boop, 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 boop. I hoped the sign in for Now, the now. female, no, no. It, okay. it went, because I got two maggots on there. Right. Two magnets, rather. My grandmother used to say maggots. Maggots. Ma like mag. No, uh, maggots were magnets. And magnets were maggots. Yeah. You know, these are the people that said I used to work in a factory. Factory. Or I, I, I don't touch batteries. Me. Batteries. I, I'm collecting Social Security. Battery. Security. Oh, I got. I need new. Oh, Ed Norton uh, used to talk like that on the honeymoon. I need new batteries. You got dead battery. That's when the car didn't start. You got dead bat battery. That's how they talk. Yeah. Who's <laughs> car? They didn't have no car. Yeah, one time when uh, oh. Ralph Cramden won the uh, the safest driver award, oh, safest yeah. bus driver. Yeah. yeah, he had to borrow somebody's vehicle to go go yeah, to he city. Yeah, had an accident with it. Yeah, he hit Judge Hurdle. He hit it. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't know it was hollering Judge Hurdle. Yeah, famous for his uh, fifty dollar fines and fifty minute lectures. And then the judge had a, 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 an accident. Well, he had the wrong glasses on. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, that's what Norton said. Man, maybe dead battery. Yeah. Yeah, battery. Anyway, I digress. I need another swig of Yinling Porter. Oh, I'm covering up the label. What the hell's the matter with me? I don't know. I don't know. I would like to say greetings to Mr. Uh, now that we're, we're enjoying good beer. I would like to say greetings to the owner and operator, president of the uh, Climax. The, yes, the Climax Brewery. Microbrewery, Climax Microbrewery in Roselle, uh, New Jersey. Uh, Mr. David uh, Hoffman, I salute you on our St. Patrick's Day uh, 2017 show. All right, and um, and also to our beer expert on one of our Facebook groups, which is called Everything Is Food. Our resident craft beer connoisseur and expert mr david coulter <coughs> of ohio outside of cleveland greetings david coulter to you shout out mario petrus the creator himself uh personal trainer and uh diet dietitian extraordinaire in the in uh, the, uh, the new the, the tri-state area here in new york new jersey uh, connecticut uh, cootie coochie whatever the fuck the state is called connecticut Mario Petrus, the creator, shout out to you. And also to Sash Boyle. I, I, I'm very proud of the work you're doing on the group Hard Hitting Truth, our political group. Excellent job, uh, Mr. Sash uh, Boyle. Uh, um, and um, let me think. Uh, who else is, hasn't pissed me off this week? <laughs> Who else is is worthy of of a plug? 
Well, there are some girls that are worthy of a plug, yeah, that's yeah. for freaking sure. More than a plug. I'd say a, a couple dozen plugs. Um, let me think. Worthy, worthy, worthy. You know what? Considering all of the suffering sy uh, sycophants out there that uh, for some reason can't deal with the real hard-hitting truth and grab the bull by the horns like I do and they don't want to come back for to do a second podcast, I won't plug them. I will not plug anybody who is a pusillanimous pipsqueak and a sycophant mm -hmm. and uh, or anybody who's pussy whipped. I have no respect for a man who's pussy whipped. Well, what are you looking at? I'm still looking for the uh, instructions to my uh, television. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, another personal trainer extraordinaire and a, a former WWE pro wrestling star, uh, uh, commercial model, uh, character actor, Mr. Ken Thiessen, mm -hmm. as seen on uh, Saturday Night Live, uh, doing skit with Adam Sandler. I shout out to Mr. Ken Thiessen. Um, that's really about it. A lot of people just, eh, forget it. Fuck them. Well, getting back to, um, our uh, wonderful, um, Republican uh, demons, they basically should, what they really should do is come clean and be honest and say, we want to take everything away from that which helps the poor and the middle class and we want the poor to drop dead yeah. as in their replacement for the Affordable Care Act which is uh, the unaffordable funeral cost <laughs> death it's called the it's the the, the rest in peace uh, health care system <laughs> yeah like the cartoon when Donald Trump is uh, visiting a hospital and, he, and he's covering up somebody over his head with a, with, a, with a blanket says you're covered don't worry don't worry don't worry you're covered <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> we all know what that means so hey you freakazoids out there you evangelical uh, inbred uh, uh, redneck tea baggers mm -hmm. you you asked for it and you got it mm -hmm. and guess what you people have have less of a pot to piss in than your idiot middle class people that vote Republican. Because much, many of the people that live in these so called, I hate to use the word, Bible Belt red states, have a very small pot to piss in. Very tiny, maybe the size of a shot glass, compared to the middle class morons that vote Republican. So they have really no incentive if one uses your God-given brain cells. No incentive whatsoever to vote Republican or to uh, believe the, the big Ronald Reagan lie about uh, trickle-down economics was, it was a big, big fantasy, it was a big lie. And, um, and um, I was discussing the homeless with somebody and people don't realize that it was it Ronald Reagan that emptied out the psychiatric hospitals? Mm -hmm. Because he, guess what? He didn't want to fund them, right? That's correct. And that's, that's probably correct. where that Billy Billy Boggs came from. That is correct. When Ed Koch, former late mayor of New York City, Ed Koch tried to rehabilitate a homeless person wow. to show that they can be cleaned up and rehabilitated. And guess what? Billy Boggs went right back onto the street. Well, when you say clean up, of course, you're uh, cleaning up. You well, need a give job, them a fucking you shower. You need a place to live. Give them clothes. Need, you know. Give them a shave. You know, wash it, wash them. Give them some deodorant so they don't stink to high heavens. Right. You and then make them self-sufficient. Self-sufficient, where they can pay their bills, they can eat decently, and have health care. Well, we're talking about something that every American really should have a right to. Unless you're a Republican, then you 
You don't have a right to anything. Exactly. They don't believe in rights. No. Except the military. Well, if you have no money, basically, you die. That's the best way I could describe the crony capitalism of the right That's wing. That's their pioneer spirit. Of the right wing. Oh yeah, yeah we're, um, <laughs> we're, oh, we're, what did they, uh, some, a politician in Florida was saying about um, feeding, not feeding the elderly, not feeding the elderly and the poor is actually showing compassion for them. In other words, put them out of their misery. So they drop dead and they, they, they won't have any problems, right? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's uh, in, in in an environment where they, it, <laughs> it's impossible to do. They want them to stand on their own two feet. It, that, isn't that like like some many Republicans would say that welfare is also is 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 unfair to the poor because it's holding you back. Uh, exactly. It's a hindrance to your growth. Or, oh, like there's so much opportunity yeah. in America. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, there's so much opportunity. Mr. To job. Mr. Trump just said we got 500,000 more jobs now in America. We're keeping the jobs in America. Oh, oh, that's really happening. Yeah, that's what he said. So there, really? Yeah. But hasn't he gotten? Isn't he under investigation at the, right now? Well, oh. he, he is not. What he said is... Right. And it was just examined by the Intelligence Committee in the Senate and in the House, and they found he's a liar. Well, that's nothing new. Obama did not wiretap him, or surveil him, or anything of that nature. Well, you know, speaking of lies, rumors, so-called fake news. Um, listen, I was talking to Evelyn Pringle, which also is doing a fantastic job over at the Progressive Radio Network. Greetings, Evelyn Pringle. Uh, about, it was a, a video, an article with a video, and it happened to be a video from the Young Turks, from Sank. She says, I don't watch the Young Turks anymore because Sank uh, doesn't believe in uh, in Pizzagate. He doesn't believe that that uh, there is that the Democrats or anybody, any politicians in this country are tied to this underground pedophile ring. Now, you were telling me something similar about rigged primaries when Bernie Sanders was running. You said, well, who's going to prove it? How are they going to prove it? It probably happened, but no, no, no one's come forward to prove it yet. Now, with the elitists and the perverted Hollywood and, and all these 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 uh, uh, satanic cults that the very rich go to, and you know, you can go right down the line, and and, and all these kidnapped children are probably used for this pedophile ring. I'm not doubting that these things happen. They, the elitists, yeah, they probably are happening, but it hasn't, like you told me, it hasn't been proven. Well, the concrete pizza, evidence yet. The Pizzagate one did not happen. Because you, you guys are trying to protect know, Hillary Clinton? We don't know what else is happening. We, yeah, but... And every time, during the day, uh, you'll see on television, have you seen so-and-so? Kids on uh, milk cartons. Right. Yes, people are disappearing and stuff like that. Kids are disappearing. But that particular one, that he, she is uh, enumerating the Pizzagate was a fake news. Well, I think Sank Iker is a closet neoliberal you know. that is just protecting Hillary Clinton. Uh, uh, politically correct neoliberal protecting Hillary uh, because he, he got very ferocious. Uh, defending Hillary Clinton against Alex Jones, who's really a right-wing libertarian. Actually, but, he's a nut. Alex Jones is a nut. Like like Lyndon LaRouche, wasn't he and one of those? He's a nut too. But why why yeah, is a man, why is a man who is is known to be progressive, a progressive warrior, Saint Iker, the Young Turks? Why is he? Why did he get so ferocious defending? Hillary Clinton? Come on, Sank. I mean, that that was a big red flag. 
Also, Bernie Sanders is now being accused of uh, being too hung up on protecting the Affordable Care Act, and he is abandoning the, uh, the single-payer universal Medicare for all. He, he's too hung up on saving not only the Democratic Party and, and reforming the DNC, but he's too hung up on this Affordable Care Act. Bernie Sanders, forget about the Democrats. Forget it. They're gone. They're corrupt. They're establishment. But you got the Affordable Care Act. You're not going to get single payer. Why not? Because you're not going to get it. Well, not, not with the people in Washington now. That's correct. You're not going to get no. it. Now, if, if people use their brains and say, Duh, I'm a po folk, or I'm middle class, and the Republicans have nothing to offer me, so I'm going to vote Democrat, or I'm going to vote single payer. I'm going to vote, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, progressive Independent Party, or yeah. Jill Stein. Or, you know, I'm not going to. Hey, then we would have all uh, left wingers, supposedly. Well, or, you would have or, competition. Or centrists. And then somebody with a single payer uh, ability or something might get into power. Right. Then you might get something going, but otherwise you're not going to get but it. But as far as Republicans go, only the rich deserve to have anything positive. Right. Peter Brabeck, again, of Nestle, CEO. Humans do not have a right to water. Oh, but if you're part of the top 1%, I think according to him you have the right to drink water, clean water, you know, it's like, uh, and then and then another article, I don't know how true it is, Obama gave in and is sending a lot of money to Flint, Michigan, to clean up that, I highly doubt it, I think they want the people in Flint to drop dead, you know, uh, because, They're doing something. yeah, because racism is very much a part of the whole right wing way of thinking, and uh, let me tell you something, Mike Huckabee said something gave a suggestion that was, of course, an asshole evangelical suggestion to Donald yeah. Trump. Mike Huckabee should mind his own fucking business. Let me tell you something. Your religion is not Christianity, because the, the Republicans keep on calling themselves real Christians. It's part of a cult. You don't know the God of the Bible. You probably never knew him. And uh, religion should never interfere with law because no one has proved that their God exists. That's it. I'm done. I don't want to be too long-winded because I was late today. And, uh, not, uh, okay, that's it. We're not doing bad. Let us now sink uh -oh. our teeth into these readings for the St. Patrick's Day week show of 2017. I will be making a very large, better late than never, corned beef and crappage tomorrow because uh, all the places that used to have corned beef, brisket, and cabbage, all you can eat, yeah. have ceased to offer all you can eat corned beef and cabbage just like those greedy, stingy bastards that used to have all you can eat baby back barbecued baby back ribs, all you can eat baby back ribs that I used to frequent and I would sit there and eat rack after rack after rack after rack because why? Because your fucking menu said all you can eat. That's right. And guess what? I only I only wanted one serving of french fries on the first plate. There, I said the other plates I don't want no french fries. You give me a little a coleslaw, a little thing of coleslaw. Because if I keep on eating fries, then I won't be able to gorge myself on meat. baby back ribs. Ribs. Meat. Meat. We That's have right. the meat. Oh, Arby's? Yeah, we have the meat. My ass. I went there one time and I got a roast beef sandwich and you know what it was? It was like steakums. It was, it was processed beef looking. Mystery meat. Mystery now they, meat. Now they make a Reuben. And sort of oh, you saw that commercial with the Reuben sandwich? Yeah. It's like huge. I know. It's like it looks this. like it. But is it real? I don't is know. Is it real hot pastrami that you would get at like at Katz's in, in New York City? You know? 
Is it real hot pastrami, or is know. it, or is it that uh, processed pastrami-like mystery meat? Uh, we have the meat. Yeah, I got the meat right here. <laughs> I we got the meat. My ass. Um, what was I saying before? Uh, I was gonna mention a conversation with somebody, but I got digressed. Uh, uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump. On Friday, stood by his unproven claim that uh, uh, Barack Obama wiretapped his phone suggesting he was the victim of the same sort of surveillance the Obama administration was once alleged to have used to monitor German Chancellor Angela Merkel's call. Hey, is she right-winged at Merkel? She's not? She's a good, is she a good egg? She's good, ah, oh, Germany. I gotta love Germany. I salute Germany and my, my good friend from, uh, Northern Florida, a German-born lady, uh, Mickey Leatham. Mickey Leatham, shout out to you. At least we have something in common, perhaps, yes. Trump said, during a joint news conference with Merkel. Merkel, making her first visit to the White House since Trump took office, did not weigh in on the 2013 incident which angered many in Germany. Trump's allegations against President Barack Obama have sparked reactions ranging from bafflement to anger in Washington, with both Democrats and Republican lawmakers saying they have no evidence to support his claim. But the White House's refusal to back down has created more problems for the new administration. On Thursday, spokesman Sean Spicer defended the president's comments by repeating a Fox News analyst's report. Well, he has to defend them, otherwise he'll get fired. <laughs> well, if he had an ounce of honesty in his body, he would resign. Yes. Okay. An honest person, like many others that have resigned since Trump got elected. Yes. Integrity, honesty. Hmm. Yes. Fox News analysts report that G A G C H Q, the British Electronic Intelligence Agency, had helped Obama wiretap Trump. The agency vigorously denied the charge. And Britain's ambassador to Washington, Kim, the complained directly to White House officials. Trump tried to distance himself from the report on Friday. All we did was quote a certain very talented legal mind who was the one responsible for saying that on television, Trump said, referring to analyst Andrew Napolitano, you shouldn't be taking talking to me, you should be talking to Fox. Huh. The British government said the White House has promised it won't repeat the allegation. Spicer, speaking with reporters following Trump's news conference, said, I don't think we regret anything. According to a Western diplomat, Spicer and DeRoche had spoken by telephone on Tuesday, at which time DeRoche asserted that there was no basis to the report. Yeah, 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 no basis. A White House official confirmed that DeRoche and the Prime Minister's National Security Advisor, Mark Lyle Grant, expressed concerns to both Spicer and Trump's National Security Advisor, Lieutenant General H. R. McMaster. McMasturbation? Spicer and McMaster both said Spicer was simply pointing to public reports 
and not endorsing any specific story. The diplomat and White House official spoke on condition of anonymity. Anonymity. To discuss <coughs> private conversations. A spokesman for British Prime Minister Theresa May said Friday that the British government made it clear to Spicer that the ridiculous claims should be ignored. Ridiculous claims, fake news, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's like, uh, heaven forbid, you should hear the truth about yourself. It goes for any human being. Yeah, but if you're not going to ever get the truth, how are you going to trust the person? That's the problem. A uh, president uh, has to speak the truth. Extracting the truth. You know? Telling the truth. Like, uh, let's say presidents with a hell, a hell of a lot of integrity, like uh, FDR, Truman, uh, JFK, Dwight Eisenhower. Yeah, yeah, people that, you know, are have integrity, that, that will tell you the truth, somewhat. somewhat. Except for the aliens crashing at Roswell. That was a lie. I mean, it was a lie that they found a, just a weather balloon. Anyway. Did you ever see uh, <laughs> Independence Day? Sure. Okay. Because nobody knew about Area 51 in there. They had to go there to find a flying saucer uh, they built. I heard they, they claimed they moved Area 51, but do you believe the government really moved Area 51? I don't. Well, I believe in... Uh, they don't have what they what people are saying they have because if they did have it, they'd be using it. I hear there's a lot okay. of uh, uh, military testing of advanced technology that are not. Oh, I get it. They would have used it in the Middle East already. They would have moved. Yeah, well, even they, before that, they would have used it. They would. They would. They would. Uh, some company would have made a, a, a fortune off of manufacturing it. The military-industrial complex would have used it. People would have made a fortune. Young, uh, 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 suckers that joined the military, young people would have died. While the top 1% made a fortune off of war. Uh -huh. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, I, 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 I saved this banner. It's fantastic. It, it tells you about... It tells you about how people are suckered into joining the military and going to war to protect our freedom. You know, like the Navy commercial. Uh, uh, we, we, we go abroad to, to uh, defend what is dear to us. Oh, yeah, sure, what is dear to us. Where, where is the United States in danger of invasion or anything like that? All right, then it says, all right, they sucker, they sucker the young people, mostly pe pe rednecks join the military, and black because they 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 are they they're, they're destitute you know all right and minorities you know yeah. and uh they go in the military they promised a lot of things and uh what happens is um uh you know when they get out it says something about um you know the truth about what happens when you come home and uh oh yeah and it says oh it says the military is there Afghanistan to uh, defend the poppy fields and then and then the people who sell uh, heroin in the United States go to the privatized prisons to uh, become free slave labor <laughs> selling the heroin from the poppy fields in Afghanistan yeah they've had uh, since like we've been there revolving door it goes around since and around. our military has been in Afghanistan yeah. The poppy crops have been fantastic. Poppies! Remember in The Wizard of Oz? Okay. Poppies! Remember that scene? The field of poppies? And, and, and she kind of fell asleep. That was the opium, right? We have a close special relationship with the White House. And that allows us to raise concerns as and when they arise. As was true in this case, said Theresa May spokesman James Slack. We have made clear to the administration that these claims are ridiculous and that they should be ignored. 
and we have received assurances that these allegations will not be repeated. Well, there, there are, um, there are, there's an ocean of allegations and uh, articles on the, on the internet every day and every night. It's flood, it comes flooding in on a daily basis and uh, even, even the so-called reputable um, sources uh, are putting out such articles. Now, what, what really puzzles me uh, is that since the beginning of the 2016 campaign year, we have been seeing many uh, articles on the internet from the group Anonymous and from uh, WikiLeaks yeah. stating that they had all this evidence on many people that are proven corrupt, that they can prove to be a corrupt and, um, and uh, that uh, elections are rigged and blah, 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 blah. All this stuff, go except Bernie Sanders was the only one who was clean. No, no bad articles on him. But Anonymous and WikiLeaks, they never really came forward with all this so-called evidence to bury the establishment American politicians that were involved in this corruption and this rigging. Mm -hmm. They never came forth with anything except th the only thing they did was help Donald Trump get elected. Yeah. So, you know, you know, you hear me anonymous and WikiLeaks cut the bullshit. You know what I mean? You see this mask? I'm loyal to what this mask means. Just like uh with the Palavani, uh, uh, my fitness group, ancient warrior training, there's a, there's, a, there's a Persian symbol of the paisley, very elaborate. It represents humility. It represents, you know, honor, integrity, and all that stuff. This mask. Hold on. If you're gonna be a progressive warrior, and you're gonna be a, a, a real life superhero, well. Do it, like Edward Snowden did. Do it. Get it done. Don't just talk about how you, how you have all the goods on, on all these people. All right, go ahead. I'm House sorry. Speaker Paul Ryan. Piece of shit scumbag. Republican of Wisconsin. Yeah, with a scrawny neck that can easily be clotheslined. Spotlights these savings. Scumbag, piece of shit while pushing the estimated 24 million uninsured by 2026 to the background. To die. In New Jersey, 100,000 would lose their Affordable Care Act subsidy. I heard many th tens of thousands were already rejected from all, off social services already in the state of New Jersey. 500,000 who gained Medicaid through the Affordable Care Act expansion could lose it after 2019. Well, they don't. And need seniors would be strapped. They don't. They don't even want any welfare. They, uh, they. They want to weed you out, man. They want to make the poor so desperate that you will work for free or end up in a privatized prison and work for free. What is missing from the coverage of the proposed bill are its downstream costs. States are in the bill's crosshairs. A fact not lost on the governors who converged on Washington, D.C. last month with a walloping $880 billion dollar proposed cut in federal Medicaid dollars. States would need to up their contributions to maintain Affordable Care Act levels. This invariably means short-changing transportation, schools, 
environmental funding. The plan empowers people with choices about buying insurance. Unfortunately, we have no choices about accidents or sickness. If states choose not to pick up all or some of the federal cost share, there are still costs to be borne. Hospital and emergency rooms, which are prohibited from turning anyone away, could see an increase in visits, which are inefficient and costly. Worker productivity could decline with an increase in preventable illness. The Affordable Care Act Prevention and Public Health Fund, which supported immunization, lead poisoning, and infectious disease programs, would be gone. This short-sightedness and abrogation of public health affects everything. Well, look what happened with uh, the immigration program of uh, deporting everyone. Uh, uh, the, the many jobs that were done by these so-called illegal immigrants from south of the border. These people are not there doing these jobs anymore. They, 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 they ran afraid. They, they're afraid. They ran off. I mean, all, all the jobs all the laborious jobs um, or low on the totem pole jobs that were commonly done by these immigrants well there's nobody there and that includes the farms in the uh -huh. in southern United States the crops are all rotting yeah. Yeah. and and what about the what about the rich cocksuckers I mean who's gonna clean their swimming pools or do their gardening or clean, clean their, their homes. So who's going to clean the offices across America? Mm -hmm. Who do you think cleans the offices? Who do you think uh, provides nanny service to watch your 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 little spoiled coddle monsters, your uh, rich bastard kids? Who do you think watches their sorry asses? Immigrants, often illegal immigrants. Christine Todd Whitman. For, Former Republican uh, governor of New Jersey had an illegal immigrant uh, yeah. uh, working in her home. Yeah. And that woman ratted her out. But see, this is the point. You know, they just like people that blame government for everything and they're, they're anti big government. Well, guess what? If you don't have all these government programs, uh, in various areas, you you lose a lot of services that you yeah. take for granted. A lot of things people take for granted every day will be gone. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh, the worst is deregulation. You know now now because deregulations, you know, companies can can fuck you over. Yeah, they love that. Even as a consumer. Republicans okay. love yeah. deregulation. I, I tell you, next time I walk into Bank of America or into any uh, corporate-oriented establishment, I don't want to hear any bullshit about good customer service and how much they care. Because they're downsizing and making people wait on long lines for long periods of time is not caring for the customer. Next thing I read, it's kind well, of uh, be part of that. Caring for the customer, good customer service. Um, interesting, very interesting. All right, go ahead. Donald Trump's tweeting that former President Barack Obama had him wiretapped. I'm tired of hearing and listening to Trump's tirade. They're still talking about that wiretapping? Yeah, because he hasn't given in to it. He's been lying for over a week. Yeah. Trump exhibits no knowledge of how to run a government.
no understanding of history. And he never assumes the blame for anything. Instead, he blames everyone else. He's been in office less than two months, and there is chaos in the White House. It scares me to think Trump is in charge of our nuclear weapons. He's a danger to the country. Trump owes Obama and the American people an apology for his misguided wiretap claims against Obama. Instead of worrying about Obama, he better worry about the Republicans that he's representing and what they want to do, and also his cabinet selections. I don't know why a man like Donald Trump even pays attention to some right-wing evangelical uh, lunatic and, and takes it takes it seriously. I have no idea. It's why the ones who voted for him. Why he's Kate. So all, the, all those inbred morons voted for him. That's how he got elected. Yeah. They've got, uh, oh, I had an argument with this uh, this right-wing teabagger uh, person. He wasn't rich, believe me. He was online. He was, he was probably either poor or middle class. I mentioned how much I love democratic socialism because you get lots of free stuff and the rich pay for it. And they pay it because they pay their fair share of taxes. They pay the, uh, most of the taxes. So the guy tells me, oh, you're one of those uh, leeches on society people. You want to be a leech on society. Hey, man, what about the top 1%? They're never leeches. They're never freeloaders. No. They're never moochers. No. So not paying taxes as a, as a very rich person, not paying taxes is... Uh, it's not mooching, it's not uh, no. un unpaid. Yeah, Donald Trump said it's it's good business. There, but there not is to pay but taxes. there is no fucking trickle down. If you put so, money if you put money in the rich man's pocket, it's not it's not trickling down. It doesn't they never, they never said it would. So how is that good it's good business for the for the right. motherfucker that owns the business? Exactly. Right? But that's what they got that's what the country is geared upon. You mean helping the top? That's right. And fuck the bottom. That's right. Well, then how does a system like that ever, ever since the 1890s? How does it prosper? It doesn't, and <laughs> never was meant to. So it was a lie. Jeez. Oh, the 1890s. When when the the, the uh, industrial revolution? Began? About that. That's when everything got fucked. Yes. That's when the that's when the the, the poor souls left the family-owned farms to live in a city. That's to work for the man. Exactly. Every night and day. Exactly. It's like going off with the song now. And um, and remember, remember you you redneck uh, southern crackers. The Amish. The Amish. Uh, they have very nice farms, by the way. Yeah. They they never kept slaves. The Amish were not lazy. They they did the, they did their own work. Yeah. They worked their own farms. Yeah produce very good bounties of fresh organic produce mm. and livestock. And they didn't have slaves. Think about that. All right, go ahead. There is a reason that lines at New Jersey Myrtle Motor Vehicle Commission offices yeah. tend to get longer at the end of the month. Oh, oh really? New Jersey driver licenses expire every four years on the last day of the calendar month in which the license was issued. Okay. Recognizing the frustration such lines can cause, the Assembly of New Jersey on Monday passed a measure that would change the law so that licenses expire every four years on the driver's birthday. Thank God you can do a lot of things online now. With the uh, not that, but not. You have to go in and get a picture taken and have your six-point ID. In other words, you have to prove that you are not a terrorist. You're not an illegal immigrant. You're not a terrorist. 
you have to prove that you are a nice guy and, and a U.S. citizen. Mm -hmm. You have to prove it all over again. Yeah. And again. And again. And again. Every four years. And again. Gee, I wonder if the uh, those rich Republicans have to do this too. Of course they do. So everybody, since 9-11, everybody has to keep on proving That's right. that they're a decent uh, uh, um, pillar of society. That's right. And, and a citizen of the United States. That's oh, wonderful, right. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Having passed the Senate last year, the bill now heads to the desk of Governor Chris Christie to oh, be signed right. into law or veto. That's right, he's still in office. Yeah. One of the top concerns among many New Jersey drivers is the long wait for a simple driver's license renewal at the local motor vehicle office. Assemblyman Gordon Johnson, Democrat of Teaneck, said in a statement Thursday, shifting the expiration date from the last day of the month to an individual's date of birth will ensure that everybody doesn't end up at the office all at once. Believe me, that's the, the, the employees do not like it any more than the people who have to go. Is to have a crowded division of motor vehicles with long lines. Well, I'll tell you now, as somebody uh, told me the other day, uh, a gentleman who just had to go and get his, his uh, state ID not a driver's license. Just a state ID. State ID. Right. Renewed. Right. Uh, I and others have told him that, well, go to Wallington because your lines are not... Oh, you got to renew that damn thing? Yes. Oh, so they want more money. Of course. Yeah, of stinking course. crony okay. capitalism is sucks. All right. So he went to Wallington and the lines were long and he went to uh, Lodi and the lines were long. Just for the oh. for the digital uh, ID with the picture, That's right. not driver's license, nope. just an ID. Okay. Many immigrants have to get this when they come to the United States. Right. Those poor people are put through unnecessary hell. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let me what tell about you right the, now. What about um, elderly? What about uh, 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 disabled individuals who have to go through that crap? Do you know my mother? My mother, who was in her eighties had to be physically, it wasn't easy, it had to be physically taken to the motor vehicles as long, and, and also other elderly people that are in wheelchairs, yeah. that are, are bedridden, yes. that are attached to oxygen or what have you, have to physically be seen at the New Jersey Division of Motor Vehicles yeah. in order to, to relinquish their driver's license. Right in order to have that removed from the record that they have a driver's license and get a to convert I guess the driver's license to an ID card of some sort I think that's what it is they have to well, physically you have be, to give up their driver's license they have to physically to do be there to give it up physically and to take the picture and people are wheeled in the, on, on gurneys, gurneys. <laughs> on gurneys yeah yeah I mean talk about state politics or local politics it's, this is but, incredible but just remember something four years ago we were all given a reprieve and didn't have to do it so why four years later since I, I'm not a terrorist I gotta go proving I'm not a terrorist again right I've already been reprieved and, the, and, 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 years ago. and then if, if, if God forbid, if you should have to turn in your driver's license someday in the future, you would have to be I, in a wheelbarrow brought over to yeah. uh, <laughs> motor vehicles in person. Yeah. Because if you do it online, they don't believe you. Of course. <laughs> they don't believe you. Hey, yeah. you motherfuckers. Bullshit. Gar garbage, okay? It, it is bullshit. Okay. And, and then one thing about New Jersey, they love setting things up where you have to keep on renewing fees, oh, well, certifications, hey. fee after fee, renewal, renewal, renewal. That's how they avoid uh, raising taxes. Um, you know? Everything, down to a freshwater fishing license, renewal, renewal. 
Uh, cat licenses, for Christ's sake. Ah, license. License, for, license for my balls. What are you talking about? License. License. Oh, boy. What a bunch of crap. Yeah. You know, people think they, uh, they believe in this American dream bullshit about owning your own home. Let me tell you, there's no freedom when you can't collect rainwater, you can't have a hen house and, and raise your own chicken eggs. Pigs. You, you can't have a high... Well, let's not go that far. Pigs. You can't, you can't no, have a high belly. stock... The pot only pigs they don't want you to have. Either. Oh, no? No. They're giving people a hard time? Absolutely. But they're selling them. I know they're selling them. Miniature. They call them uh, a pig... Pygmy pigs? No. No, or miniature pigs. Piglets. They only get... No, they only get like 35... Now, actually, the truth is, if you don't overfeed them... They get 35, 40 pounds. If That's you let them eat everything they, they demand, they become 100 pounds. <laughs> but we're talking about relatively smaller than a yeah. standard p a pig. Yeah. So what? You got to get special permits for this animal? Uh, if they allow it. They don't allow it because it's classified as a farm animal. Livestock? Livestock. So, the, so they're selling them. These people are taking them home. They got them on leashes. And, and the law is giving them a hard time, right? Exactly. Exactly. Hey, you know, same thing with... Hey, listen. A chicken. <coughs> a chicken, I hear. You know, there's, there are more breeds than, than you can imagine. Yeah. A chicken can bond with its owner. Who's to say that a parrot should have more rights than a chicken? Who's to say that a parrot is necessarily better or smarter than a chicken. Mm -hmm. They're both birds. If a, if, a, if a chicken, if a rooster bonds with its owner, and a parrot bonds with its owner, and they both make noise, a parrot can make a lot of noise, but if a rooster crows, your neighbors and, and rat you out. Oh yeah. I mean, it's like livestock versus pet. I don't know. It's I don't crazy. know. There's a lot of illogical things. That's right. Not collecting freaking rainwater and getting arrested or yeah. fined. That is totally absurd. Why own? Why own? Why? Why be a homeowner? You're not a landowner. You're probably you're just a. a, a you own the freaking building that's on top of the land. But why even? Why even pay a mortgage if you yeah. can't do certain simple things? Yeah, of course. People don't understand that, though. You it's know, no I mean, American it's, dream. It's something you have to look into. It's a lie. But you know who believes the American dream lies? Yeah. The rednecks with no teeth. The inbreds. The people that vote Republican. The people in, in, in Kentucky. The they're, they're, they're re-elected uh, Turtle Face McConnell. Uh, people that re-elected Paul Ryan. You people should be should succumb to the... Uh, uh, um, Super volcano at Yellowstone Park. You really should succumb to it. Ugh. Really, you really are a waste of sperm. In the words of uh, my friend Mario Petrus, you really are a waste of sperm. You people, you know, you do. You shoot yourself in the foot every time, and as soon as you're done with the left foot, you go to the right foot. You know, you cut your nose off to spite your face. Use some common sense. Use those brain cells. You get several elbows across the nose, like Mario Petrus used to say. Now he mellowed out, though. Oh, cute. Because you know, because he has a lot of client he, clients that he's training. He mellow, he mellowed out. He's not the same ferocious Mario that I once knew, you know. But eh, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna break for lunch. Um, and uh, you're going to see how to defeat a conservative Bible verses. Simply hit the pause button, read and learn, followed by promo, and we'll be back for the balance of the show. Aaron Gobralis. Read and learn. Yes, hit the pause button, read and learn. Oh, gee, how many people actually could read, will read, and are able to learn? Well, not a lot. No. You know, but of course, you know, if you tell people things that are negative, that hit raw nerves. Oh, you're being a hater. You're a mean. You're a hater. You're so, why are you so angry, James? Why are you, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm only, like Reverend Bill says, I'm only emphasizing. 
<laughs> I'm only emphasizing. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs>
with an open mind. Besides the reading of censored, Newsletter Censored also has The God Project and How to Defeat a Conservative. There is nothing in the mainstream media or the press like Newsletter Censored. So simply go to www.newslettercensored.com and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription to the newsletter that started it all in 1977, Newsletter Censored. You need Newsletter Censored. That's www.newslettercensored.com. Okay, we're back with the balance of the uh, progressive discussion, St. Patrick's Day Week 2017 show. I'm your host, James P. Madonna. I'm with the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Seven lucky bells. All right, let's go back into these readings. Uh... Donald Trump's first formal budget proposal to Congress seeks to redefine the proper role of the federal government by dramatically reducing its involvement in many domestic areas while boosting investments in security. The proposal, dubbed the America First budget by the White House, increases defense spending by $54 billion and offsets that with cuts to non-defense spending, the steepest of which come from education, environmental protection, health and human services and foreign aid. The military would get more personnel, munitions, ships, and fighters. There is no question this is a hard power budget, said Trump's budget director Mick Mulvaney and that was done intentionally. That's what our allies can expect. That's what our adversaries can expect. Under the blueprint scheduled for release on Thursday, some agencies would be disbanded altogether, including those primarily responsible for supporting public broadcasting. Hmm legal aid and the arts oh yeah legal aid they told me they were privatized one time I had to call them they uh, they told me they were they were they were not funded or they or they're very minimally funded by the government and they're they're privatized and also they wanted to know the total incomes of everyone living in the house I says, what the hell do they have to do with the person applying for legal aid? If everybody's an adult and nobody nobody is a, um, um, what do you call it, dependent. Yeah. There's, there's no dependence. Everybody's an adult. And Talk and about yeah, blood-sucking motherfuckers, man. They, they want to make, they want, they're probably, they just more probably want to get paid. Or why be legal aid if, if you're that hard up to get paid? Why call yourself a pro bono lawyer? Don't call yourself that. Dozens of programs would be eliminated, including many with constituencies across the country. Community development, block grants, community learning centers, low-income heating assistance. The budget places a heavy emphasis on 
measurable results. And budget officials say those programs don't make the cut. Programs supporting first-time homebuyers. State and local affordable housing initiatives. And neighborhood revitalization would also be zeroed out. A job training program for seniors would be axed because one-third don't finish. And of those who do, only half successfully transition to unsubsidized employment. Some of Trump's domestic policy priorities would see increases, including school choice, charter schools, an additional $500 million to expand treatment and recovery and prevention of opiate abuse. There's also $2.6 billion for proposed border wall. And 314 million for immigration enforcement agents. The 2018 budget is for the fiscal year that begins October 1. But Trump is not waiting till then. A separate 2017 supplemental request being sent to Congress Thursday asks for $15 billion more spending this year. That proposal includes $30 billion in defense spending, $3 billion for the border wall, offset by $18 billion in cuts to other non-defense spending. The budget proposed on Thursday is a skinny budget. Less detailed than most years because the Trump administration is just two months old. Unlike full budget proposals, Trump's blueprint does not include tax proposals, long-term deficit projections, or detailed staffing levels. But Mulvaney said there would unquestionably be fewer federal employees. You can't drain the swamp and leave all the people in it. Well, when you drain the swamp, guess what? what's left? The bottom feeders. Some agencies would be hit harder than others. The president wants a smaller EPA. He thinks they overreach. Well, yeah, it's better to make profit than to protect the planet, right? Right. according to them. Every, they believe the planet Earth will keep on diluting pollution. In some places, though, Trump's budget specifically proposes new hiring, 1,500 new agents for immigration, with 60 more prosecutors to back them up. He's proposing 60 new deputy U.S. Marshals, focused on criminal immigrants. Yeah, they, they also have this nationwide sting operation wasting police time and money and manpower or, or, or in regards to prostitution and their johns and their, custom, their customers. It's nobody's fucking business what a woman does with her body or what a man does with his body. And he wants 20 attorneys to defend his immigration executive actions in court. With 20 more to handle land acquisition 
or the border wall. The budget proposal will surely face some resistance on Capitol Hill, where lawmakers are responsible for passing the budget and spending bills. The President's proposal is a starting point, as with any President, a reflection of administration priorities and something of a wish list. Mulvaney says he expects resistance, and the White House is open to negotiating with lawmakers as long as he gets increases in spending on defense, law enforcement, water security, without increasing the deficit. Ah. Well, deregulation of um, of any corporation, of any big company, uh, spells disaster at the end. Just like privatization does not work, it is inefficient, it doesn't work, never worked in the past, and uh, hey, you know that the long, winding, crooked road always seems to end up at, a, at the desk of a CEO. Because how do you think the lobbyists go to Washington? Who sends the lobbyists out? And who pays off the politicians? The corporations, right? Well, who runs the corporations? The CEOs. And that's been going on since at least the 1890s. So, you know, if some Republican says that, uh, you know, uh, Oh, the military is uh, it was too weak under Obama. We need to spend more money on the military. Oh, uh, um, we need to uh, make the world afraid of uh, the United States again. Uh, bullshit like that. You know. uh, what's the other thing? Uh, oh, social services holds poor people back and hinders them. Yeah. This is all bullshit because they're being paid off their agenda is to uh, I, ultimately uh, get more desperate poor people into those privatized prisons for free slave labor. Yeah, and reduce government down to basically the military. What is their, their long-term uh, objective for reducing government down to nothing? What is Not spending money. Not spending money unless it's a military industrial complex. That's correct. But also pocketing money, like for instance, when Paul Ryan wants to steal your Social Security. And what about, uh, that's where all the big bribes come from, is the is military. That, you mean the companies that make the weapons? Yeah. Well, it's corporate. And hand the envelopes to the congressmen, mm -hmm. senators. President. It's corporate, you know. You know they're friends, who they're friends with. There, there was a banner of um, concerning how uh, uh, corporation CEOs uh, believe that raising the minimum wage would hurt the business, and uh, and then you have the 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 yacht they, that they own is so big that there's a like a cabin cruiser that fits that fits inside of the yacht. They show a cabin cruiser being uh, uh, kept in the yacht. The yacht is so damn big. Yeah, well. <laughs> so it goes back to saying, you know, the saying, well, I have mine. I don't, I, I, I'm ne I, I never have enough money. I'm never rich enough. I have mine and I don't care if you don't have yours. Right. The hell with everybody else. Right. That's what it comes down to. It comes down to pure selfishness. Let's abandon the pretense. The GOP health care bill is not really about health care. No. It's not about improving access to health insurance, reducing premiums, or making sure you get to keep your doctor, if you like your doctor. 
And it's certainly not about preventing people from dying in the streets. People actually thought they had a, a better replacement for the Affordable Care Act. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, they do. Oh, man. Instead, it's about hundreds of billions of dollars in tax cuts. Tax cuts that will quietly pave the way for more and far larger tax cuts. Yeah, because the top 1% is never wealthy enough. They never have enough money. The American Health Care Act, which has been opposed by nearly every possible stakeholder of nearly every ideological orientation, is being rushed through Congress with non-extreme vetting. Oh, they were so upset over Obamacare. They wanted the first, uh, the first thing on their agenda was to eliminate these Affordable Care Act. Like they were obsessed with the poor not having affordable care, affordable health care. In fact, it passed out of one committee into the middle of the night overseen by a committee chairman who just a day earlier criticized Obamacare for being written in the dark of the night. Oh, they're doing plenty of writing in the dark of the night, the scumbag Republicans. From the bill text, we can tell the direction of the directionality of some of the changes Republicans are proposing. Tax revenue will fall. Lots of people will lose health coverage. And the Medicare Trust Fund will be exhausted sooner. But we still don't know the magnitude of these changes. In other words, how much, how many, or when, respectively. We don't know the answers to these questions yet, because Republicans don't want us to know. Part of the reason they have rushed the bill through committee is to uprun an inevitably unflattering analysis from the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office. In the meantime, other experts and government bodies have scrambled to compile their own estimates for the bill's effects. The ratings and an analytics firm, Standard & Poor's Global, has ballparked the number of people who would lose their insurance at 6 to 10 million. Others say as high as 15 to 20 million. Meanwhile, a group of health researchers calculated that the bill would increase costs for enrollees on average more than $1,500 per year when it took effect and by more than $2,400 per year by 2020. Oh! And the Medicare Trust Fund would be exhausted by 2024. Yeah, they want to, they want to bleed all, the, all of our money dry. They want to steal. I'm telling you, I, I don't think the world and, or America has seen so much corruption uh, as it does now in, well, in the history of, um, of modern day society. I really don't think it has. It is bigger and you know look at these look, days. Look at the brain dead uh, imbeciles that, that, that go to the polls and vote or don't vote which is even worse. Don't vote. Shame on you. You didn't you didn't vote in 2014, and, and, and many people didn't show up in 2016. For those keeping score, that means fewer people would have insurance. Those who get insurance 
on the exchanges would pay a higher price for it. And Medicare's solvency would be jeopardized as a bonus. Hard to see how this achieves any of Donald Trump's stated goals to lower costs and expand choices increase competition and ensure health care access for all Americans. On the other hand, it's quite easy to see how another well-established Republican goal would be achieved. Tax cuts. Specifically, six hundred billion dollars of tax cuts predominantly benefiting the rich. The Joint Committee on Taxation has released a series of estimates showing what some of the tax-related provisions of Trump care would do. Among the biggest are repeals of two Affordable Care Act surtaxes on the highest earning Americans a 0.9% payroll tax add-on and a 3.8% tax on net investment income mm. for couples whose incomes exceed 250000 or 200000 for individuals. Repealing these would cost $275 billion over the next decade. The law also axes other taxes, such as the tanning tax. What? The tanning tax. And excise taxes on insurers, drug manufacturers, importers, and medical device manufacturers. Based on what the Joint Committee has scored so far, and it has not analyzed every revenue loser in the bill, these tax cuts come to about $600 billion. The presence of expensive tax cuts in a bill purportedly about health care reform is not a side effect. It's the entire point. They make it easier for Republicans. Much bigger individual and corporate tax cuts to sail through the Senate with minimal Democratic, <coughs> excuse me, obstruction. Why? Under normal circumstances, Democrats would almost certainly filibuster the coming tax overhaul preventing from getting it a vote. But Republicans can take the filibuster option away by using the reconciliation process, which is an option if and only if the tax bill doesn't increase government deficits in the long term. Why don't they just why don't they just grow a spine and do what they do in in other parliaments overseas and just like have a rumble and beat the fucking shit out of the Republicans. <laughs> Why don't they just do that? Why don't you bust them up, man? You know, a couple dozen, a couple dozen jabs to the face. That's all. Dance around. You know, you got McConnell, you got Ryan. Just like boop, 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 boop. You know, if anybody's in shape enough to do that. <laughs> all right, go ahead. How do you keep tax cuts from increasing mm. deficits? relative to existing law. One tool is to change existing law. That is to move the goalposts. Cutting taxes in the Obamacare repeal bill today lowers the revenue baseline against which a tax overhaul plan will be judged tomorrow. So for those who have been scratching their heads about why Republican leadership is standing by a health care bill that does nothing
to improve access to health care, remember. Remember. When you hear hoofbeats, tax cuts are coming. When you hear hoofbeats, that means the fucking, the, the, what was the name of the old fashioned hearse that the undertakers had, a horse driven, maybe there was no special name for it, the carriage that came to pick up your pine box. <laughs> well, it was a coroner. The, in the wild, wild west, you had a horse driven, you had something that they put the pine box on to take you up to Boot Hill. Yeah. Ugh. But, um. Uh, coroner's uh, wagon. The coroner's wagon. Yeah. The coroner's wagon. Uh, uh, just like the dentist back then, he wasn't. There was no such thing as cosmetic dentistry, they were just teeth yankers. <laughs> They gave you a bottle of, of whiskey, and that was your anesthesia, and then they pull it. Pull it, man, pull it. Teeth pulling. In the Navy, there was some redneck guy that, that uh, called a visit to the dentist's office. Teeth pulling time, teeth yanking. Well, maybe maybe down south. <laughs> But not, not up here in Yankee territory, you know, we have sophisticated dentistry. Anyway. Die, die. My husband. Uh-oh. Change of paste? Uh, not exactly. Uh, semi, semi-serious? Semi, semi... Uh, uh, medical. Medical, okay. My husband, 76. He's on testosterone therapy. You gotta be careful with the side effects of that. And he says he feels great. If you're a candidate for it, sure. But I heard there was a new study that was negative about the side effects of the therapy. What is the real deal? See, I didn't even read this. I knew, I knew it. Well, this is Dr. Oz. Oh, no, you'll get, you'll get the straight. Michael Roy. You get the straight information from from him. Answer. The news that you're worrying about was actually a series of seven coordinated studies published in the Journal of the American Medical Association that involved 12 academic medical centers. They looked at the impact of testosterone therapy in hundreds of men, 65 and older, who had measurably low levels of the hormone. About 20% of men over 60 have diagnosable low testosterone. 25%? 20. 20% 20 over the age of 60 years old. Okay. The findings, one less than positive, Conclusion was that cognitive impairment was not involved at all for these guys with testosterone therapy. Yeah, well, what about the other side effects? Yeah. Also, guys taking the supplement saw an increase in non calcified plaques in the coronary artery. You said it increased? You guys. Found, saw an increase. An increase in uh -huh. non-calcified plaque. Non-calcified in the coronary right. artery. Okay. Which could be future heart attack, angina, or stroke. Mm -hmm. On the plus side, researchers found that the men gained bone strength density in their spine and hips. This may reduce the risk of often. You all right? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were passing out on me, man. No, I want every, uh, you know, oh, okay. couple of words to to yeah. be understood because this is a medical right. long thing. Well, there, there are many positive benefits of having adequate amounts of the sex hormone. 
you know, whether it be estrogen for women or testosterone for men, I mean, it, well, yeah, well, but you have to be a candidate for this therapy. Yeah. This may reduce the risk of off the life altering fractures. Did you know? Osteoporosis affects about 25% of men on Medicare. Really, men? How Same. about that? Hemoglobin levels also went up in men with low testosterone levels and anemia. And sexual function, activity, and desire improved over the course of a year. So, the benefits and risks all depend on your husband's overall health, his goals for taking testosterone. If he was really deficient... Hold on a minute. Okay, if he was really deficient... Low testosterone is considered below 275 NG slash deciliter. Probably nano brand. Could be. I want the same thing about muscle mass increasing in older men. Muscle tone. Well, maybe, but we're not there yet. Yeah. He and his doctor can make a considered judgment about these matters. He should take testosterone if prescribed and obtained from a reputable pharmacy. Also, make sure, since blood clots are a risk ah. when taking testosterone. Ah, I see. Now we're getting somewhere. Just like with estrogen and progesterone, make sure he talks with his doctor about the benefits of taking a low-dose aspirin in the morning and at night. Our tip. Scary. If his physician doesn't discuss this with him, he might consider getting another doctor. That's very serious. I mean, the uh, the uh, at a young age, the uh, the late professional wrestler Chris Candido had a blood clot in his leg, and the doctor told him, "Do not." Go on an airline. Yeah. Do yeah. not fly back home to New Jersey or whatever, wherever he was going from Florida, I think. He didn't listen to the doctor and he died. The blood clot had probably moved and went to his heart, perhaps. Came up from his leg. Came up, you know. Is that what they call it? Is that the same as phlebitis? Phlebitis is the disease uh, the thing, but no, that's thrombosis thrombosis. An attack of it. Right. And when it gets to a smaller artery or whatever, and it can't go through. Oh, like like when uh, like when when, yeah. when there's like when there's a um, heavy a very heavy rain and flooding and the river the river the force of the river breaks through a dam, let's say, a small dam. Or be, let's say it's a beaver. A beaver dam gets busted up. Don't pay attention. Freaking cats make all kinds of noise. A beaver, let's say the beaver dam, a hard, a hard, uh, the beaver dam in a in a brook or a creek gets broken, or or the, no, let's say the beaver dam is there and something is flowing down the uh, the brook or the stream or whatever or the small river and and then it gets caught, log jamming. I, I was trying to think of a word. Log jam, right? In, in the lumber industry? That's it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I took so long to remember. And then the blood is cut off and that's it. Log jam. Another question. After I herniated a disc, I developed high blood pressure. 150 over 90. Really? 
now I have torn my rotator cuff. I overdid the golf practice after fixing the disc. I eat carefully, cut my way back on red meat, but I have to ice my shoulder every day. Is it possible that the pain is spiking my blood pressure? Yeah. Answer. You have identified a too often overlooked repercussion of acute and chronic pain, which you have from your disc rotator cuff, cuff injury. High blood pressure becomes elevated because pain stimulates the sympathetic nervous system. And that affects the hypothalamus and pituitary glands. They pump up stress hormones, elevating your pulse rate. Blood vessels may constrict while the heart rate goes up. Increasing pressure even more. Pain, pain, also causes emotional stress. And studies show that it too taxes the heart. Your best bet? Address the physical issues pronto. Elevated blood pressure usually comes back down when the pain disappears. If you need rotator cuff surgery, get it. Your elevated blood pressure, if not accompanied by other cardio problems, shouldn't be interfered with getting cleared for the operation. It's a laparoscopic procedure. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be detached to be a candidate for surgery. I mean, to a torn muscle tissue and a torn tendons heal back again. I mean, unless it's, it's really torn. Well, usually that's what it is. Laparoscopic. Uh, that means they don't have to go cut it all open. They go in there with Make a little hole. Make a little hole. Thank God for that. You know they do a lot of uh, cardio surgery now that way? Uh, orthoscopically, I guess they call it. Yeah, or laparoscopic, whatever. They go, they make the tiny hole, and, uh, and uh, they run it through an artery down in your lower body somewhere, and they run it up to the heart, and they do what they gotta do without sawing your sternum open and putting clamps in to hold open your sternum. A very barbaric thought indeed. It's a laparoscotic procedure and you go home the same day. Recovery depends on conscious physical therapy. But we bet you'll do that. Yeah. Alright. So we about done, I guess. I would say so. Uh, you have any uh, whimsical uh, change of Popsicles. pace? You have any light uh, Amy Dickinson uh, stuff or any, anything of that nature? I might anything that make... anything for me to make fun of so I can mock the people. If not, don't worry about it. I'm getting uh, kind of hungry. Uh -huh. So if you don't find it, it'll it'll be quicker for me to so chow down. You know. When I boogie out of here. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Okay. Now, who the fuck? Who the fuck is this witty and funny? We're all the all the progressive warriors out there that are that are that are that have millions and billions and Good. billions and billions and trillions. I'm, I'm I'm exaggerating. I'm doing Carl Sagan. God rest his soul. Of, of followers, huh? I saw him the other day on an old Johnny Carson. Yeah, well, you know, he was he was the the the, fa the father of modern day uh, what is it quantum physicists. He was like the the first famous uh, uh, scientist of the cosmos that was uh, Popular, in, the, in the spotlight. He started the show Cosmos, Popular, didn't cosmos, he? Yeah, that was the show. I got nothing. 
Don't worry about it. I've gone down a few times. Don't worry miles. about it. I, I'm going to make a big uh, jumbo uh, a brisket of corned beef with uh, uh, the, the small yellow potatoes, the ones I don't have to cut because they're already tiny. The, gold, the golden ones. Or Yukon. Yukons. They're, they're golden. And, uh, and I might, and a cabbage. Now, now, from what I understand through reading, is now the Chinese cabbage, which I think is called Napa, is one of the top nutritionally dense vegetables around, along with watercress, uh, Swiss chard, kale, that, that used to be known as the king, is now at the bottom of the list com compared to, uh, oh, I heard romaine lettuce is loaded with nutrition. So for you people that are salad lovers, ditch all the other salad greens. Like I, iceberg. Go, go for, oh, iceberg is nothing but crunchy water. Go for um, romaine lettuce. Uh, very high in uh, nutritional value and, and the cabbage. Well, I love cabbage. I love mushrooms. Some people hate them. Like this jabroni over here. The Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Anyway, Enjoy your St. Patrick's Day uh, if you want to. If, you, if, you, if you're, you're the type of person that celebrates it all week, just be safe. Don't drink and drive, all right? Those DWIs, they're out there because the sleazy local politicians that run the, all the towns and counties, they want to collect more revenue through moving violations and arrests. You know what I mean? I think I think they they push the cops to write more tickets and do more DWIs because they want they want to grab more money. They don't have enough money. You see how rotten capitalism is? You know, brother, from another mother. All right, we'll see you. Everyone go brawlers. I you know I look for the uh, St. Patrick's Day parade. Usually on Fifth Avenue in New York on television. I saw it. What station was it on? It was on uh, Channel Four. At, I, four? Was it on Eleven? No. And they, WPIA it used to be on Eleven. I often. ride with Joe McCarthy and all these guys. Right. Yeah, no, it wasn't on Eleven. And and I'm also pissed off that when I was watching WWE. I think it was WWE Smackdown, they were advertising the Leprechaun horror movie marathon that didn't appear. Very upset. I was ready to enjoy that, that little guy. You I'm know? not sure, but there might be something on tonight. Unless it's tonight. On uh, Optimum's Channel 33 where Sven Gulli is. Oh, really? Yeah, he usually plays an old horror movie. Yeah. I think it has something to do with... Uh, Sci-fi, perhaps? Or no, U no, USA, no. Spike TV? No, no, no. It's, it's uh, me TV. What the fuck is me Channel TV? Oh, oh, okay. Now, Fios is obviously different. Yeah, I have Verizon Fios, right. which I really have forgot I forgot to do it this is the one 33 is the one that plays Hogan I forgot to do it I don't know if I did it last week I don't think I did but Chisler better late than ever Chisler's Hall of Shame brother shame on you Verizon Fios and I also throw Windows 10 in, for, in there for doing the same thing it's called bloatware now what happened to me was I turn on the TV set okay and we got a big screen TV in the living room. I turn it on. I turn it on. And what I get is an advertisement for me to buy some Comcast Sports Channel that I do not already have on my package. I, I, I don't want it. So I try to change the channel. It won't let me change the station. I try hitting all these buttons on the remote. It won't go away. I even shut the TV off and put it back on again. It's still there. Wow. Finally, after 15 minutes of pressing buttons, I finally get rid of it. So they're like forcing me 
it's like they're forcing me through high pressure sales foot in the door high pressure sales forcing me to purchase this extra channel that I don't want well Optimum gave it to me no matter what I wanted they stuck it to you they stuck it to me I said I'm not interested in this sports they don't want channel. it no means no they don't take no for an answer how come no no These means tables. no when it comes to uh, having sex, uh, uh, being on a date, having sex, or initiating sex with a, with a girl. No is supposed to mean no socially, but when it comes to fucking capitalism and, make, and, and the business world, it seems like no doesn't mean no. It, they don't take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. And everything is bloatware, my God. Even, even if, if they're not pushing... A channel that uh, that that is not part of my package. If they're not doing that, I'm just trying to change the stations, and they keep on shoving all this crap in front of me. And the same thing is happening to me with Windows 10. They keep on all these pop-ups that apparently the uh, pop-up blocker. I mean, the uh, yeah, the pop-up blocker is not blocking them. Number one. If they are pop-up blocker, the, block, the, if the they ad are, blocker program is not doing it. If they are pop-ups, well, they're pop-up from the from bottom. From other places, not just Windows 10. Then they are malware, and you better scan. I better, I better open up Super Anti Spyware and do a full update, full update, and scan. And scan. Well, what's happening is the. You see, the um, I'm thinking of going back to Mozilla Firefox. I have Google Chrome as my browser, and I have the ad block. Uh, uh, maybe I should switch it to the to the original ad block plus, which is, is has a symbol of a stop sign, a red stop sign. What would that be? Hexagonal? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Ad block plus is a good good one. But if the ad if the ad block plus is working on all websites and it's doing its job and I'm s and you're still getting the pop-ups and that's got to be coming from Windows from Microsoft it's on your machine you so, so that hacked. means motherfuckers you have been hacked that means the fucking adware malware well if sleazy, you don't have it on full time sleazy pieces of shit what's on full time the adware blocker it's supposed to be full time. Windows Defender. Well, it's supposed to be on. Well, I don't know. It sounds like it's not on full time. I don't have. I don't use Windows Defender. I use AVG Free. Okay, that's okay. And I use uh, Super Anti Spyware because that was highly recommended by the Verizon uh, tech support, and okay. also my uh, uh, my brother-in-law says it really. It really cured his uh, business computer dilemma, okay. so I like it. It's good. All right. Anyway, the as far as the 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 ad or the uh, malware adware, you know what? Maybe I better I better go back to the original ad uh, um, ad block plus. Maybe something's going on, man, because the the blocking program that I have through Google, Google Chrome, the freebie. You may not be updating every day. It's not about blocking. But you it's supposed to be, block. No. If you uh, don't update, let's say well, it should one day. Do that. No. You mean to tell me I got to manually update that crap every day? Manually? Or you can do it, set it up to update, uh, you know. Why? Why? Yeah, but it's behind not behind the scenes. You keep on emphasizing updating it. Yeah. I'm talking about it doing its job. If you don't update it, its job is many days ago. It does not have an update of the new okay. shit. So what you're saying is these sleazy motherfuckers <laughs> that are behind all this malware and hacking and adware and 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 I... spyware. These bastards are always thinking of new ways. Yes. To to oh every make, day. Well, then they gotta stuff. be killed. Every day, new stuff. See, the thing about the thing about liberalism is they have compassion for the human humans, the human being. Oh, yeah. These people don't deserve to exist. These people are underhanded, sleazy pieces of shit. And I'm sorry. 
I have no compassion for anybody like that. You have nothing better to do. They can't make they can't make an honest living. So they have to make a living screwing people and mm -hmm. hacking into the, into their computers and throwing all this advertising well, crap. Well, at least use the tools that you have at your you, ready you know to how stop much, them. You know how much crap is appearing more and more like this on Facebook. On Facebook, yeah, there is more on shit. All of them. No, Facebook is. I don't see it on Twitter. Facebook is loaded with all the the uh, the uh, the hackers and spammers and scammers mm -hmm. and fake accounts, fake profiles and and all this shit. I, if, if, hey, for all I know, Mark Zuckerberg's probably getting a cut from all these scumbag crooks. Who the hell knows? Why is he allowing? Why are they allowing all this shit to come flowing in? Why does the CIA and the other they can't stop it? I wonder you where can't stop I wonder it. where this these scumbags originate from. I wonder because there's a way of these scumbags of, could be a ten year old kid of pinging when the ten year old kid should be drowned in a fucking bathtub. Ten year old, you know, smart guy. You mean a little geek motherfucker? Yeah. That that. You know, you ever see these geeks uh, that are geniuses and computer yeah. ge wizards? They usually look, they're very nerdy and dorky looking. Yeah. They probably get beat up in school and uh, they don't get dates and uh, because the jocks get to, you know, get all the yeah. chicks, the cheerleaders. And they get smacked around a lot. They get mocked. So this is probably because they have a, a probably a really low self-esteem with the high IQ. This is how they get back. This is how they get back. Like okay. that stupid movie, Revenge of the Nerds. I can't, stand, I can't stand nerds and geeks and dorks. I there hate them. Go. I don't like them. I like to smack them around. All right. You hear what All it's right. doing out there? It just sounds like rain. It doesn't sound like snow, man. It sounds like rain. Melting and rain. I don't mind the rain. I just mind shit I got to dig out, dig my car out. That That's the part I hate. Well, let's hope it keeps... Melting. <laughs> That's true. All right. We'll see you. This time we're, I'm really going. All right. Bye-bye.